Hello and welcome back. I'm Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos and it's vlog day today. So happy to see every single one of you. So last weekend we got started on that uh, technique that I seen on TikTok where we put the spray paint onto wet epoxy and a lot of you guys, you know, seemed like you really liked it. I said there was just a little bit more stuff I wanted to do uh, this weekend with it. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm thinking about even trying uh, some more on a different tumbler as well because I did get started on a different tumbler doing the same kind of technique. So we'll see. We'll see where that takes us. But a lot of you guys said that it's like um, how they do countertops. And that's true. I looked it up and it, sure enough, it's pretty much how they do countertops, epoxy countertops. They put the paint down and dabble their brush around. Right, Jack? Right. <laughs> I feel bad I had to put him inside. <laughs> he hangs out here with me. <laughs> but yeah, so it's just like um, doing that. So... But I thought it was pretty cool, you know, and then some of you had questions. Why can't I put or why didn't I do the uh, alcohol spritz onto the paint rather than just the metallic? Like, what's the difference? We'll see. I'll do it today. I don't know. That's just how I seen it was, it was being done. I'm sure it probably does the same thing. You're just basically when the alcohol touches the surface of the epoxy after you spray paint on it, it just breaks the the surface tension and it makes those dots and stuff and it kind of helps the paint kind of sink down as well and pop any little bubbles too so i mean probably it'll do the same thing is what i'm thinking but we'll, we shall see and also i'm gonna pick out a winner for my cup here um last week and i said that i was gonna be giving this cup away along with the glitters that i used to make it so i'm gonna be picking a winner out for that there was a lot of comments i couldn't keep up with it i tried my best so they're all in there i i know anybody who commented was entered so <laughs> i gotta pick somebody from all that so we're gonna go ahead and do that real quick before we move on to doing our experiment here <laughs> all right i have my laptop open here and i'm gonna go ahead and pick out a winner so let me go ahead and get that rolling get the name up here and the winner is Carolina Az Azorio. I hope I said that right. I'm so sorry if I didn't. I'll make sure to put your name down into the description box so that way you know that you won. Just shoot me an email over to sandysorganizedchaos at gmail.com and give me your address and all that and I will get your tumbler and your glitters shipped out to you. Congratulations. All right, well, we have some experimenting to do today because I wanted to do uh, some more of that spray paint on wet epoxy and see where that takes us. So hopefully I get, I'm able to get these tumblers done today. If not, then next weekend, I'll just show you what they look like with uh, decals and, and all that. So, <laughs> all right. So I have my tumbler. I'll use this, I guess. <laughs> hey, it matches my shirt today. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> so I have my tumbler and I'm ready to wake up, prep these tumblers and slay all day. Let's do this. All right, so we're picking up right where we left off. So this is how that tumbler turned out after I let it cure. So I decided to add just a little bit more to it. Some of you guys suggested glitter. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some sparkle dust to it. So this is just SOC sparkle dust and teal. And I'm gonna add quite a bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add quite a bit to it. <laughs> you guys know a little bit of this stuff goes a long ways, but I really wanted to make sure there was a nice shine uh, in between these two coats here so that way I knew that sparkle just would kind of come through and just kind of give it just a little bit more. So you're gonna see how much look when I put it on there you're like, oh my goodness it looks like a lot but once you once you get it see once you push it around it's not a lot all right <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and what was that I think that was ten, no 20 milliliters of epoxy that I had in my little cup there and I'm just gonna put all that onto my tumbler and put it right onto my turner and move right into the next step. All right, it's on my turner and ready to go. Now I went to the store and I actually bought the bright gold metallic spray paint. So again, I have my garage door open with all my fans blowing so that way, you know, my garage isn't filled with spray paint smell, okay? So we wanna do safety first, wear your respirator if you need to and all that, but I have my door open and my fans going, so we're good to go there. So I wanted a touch more blue to this, so I'm actually gonna add a little bit of blue. And you guys had that question, um, I think there were, 
there was one or two of you guys that had the question and I wanted to see too if uh, spraying the rubbing alcohol on the wet paint would do anything as well. So we're gonna go ahead and check that out now. So let's give it a couple spritzes and sure enough, it gives us the same effect as it does with the metallic. So either way, I figured it would, I figured it really didn't matter because you're just, like I said, you're, you're breaking the surface tension with it and that's what creates that kind of textured, almost hammered look when you guys said it looked like a hammer a hammered look so and it does it kind of gives it that look too all right now we're going to go ahead and move on to the gold and boy that <laughs> I honestly I'm really happy I went out and I bought the gold because it really did give it just an extra look that I was going for this is exactly what it needed so I'm going to go ahead and spritz this all over with this gold color and then come back through and do the same thing with the rubbing alcohol and give it a good spritz of that rubbing alcohol all over it to kind of disperse that that coloring and kind of break it up just a little bit and I also came through with my paints and kind of did like speckled look you guys know I really love doing that technique where you just hold the the nozzle down ever so slightly just to make all these little splotches go all over the place so I did that as well you know just layer it up have fun I mean that this is art this is what you're supposed to do you're supposed to just step outside of the box and, and create and see where it takes you you never know where it's going to take you but this was just kind of fun to step away and do something a little bit different something I've never done before and and just and just kind of layer colors and I really like this color combination so far so um, I'm gonna let this cure and we are gonna take a look at another tumbler that I had started on in the middle of the week I already got the base done I kind of almost did the same thing with, with that I did with this one but I'm gonna go ahead and let this that cure and then after this cures we're gonna go ahead and move on to this next tumbler that I that I have here and we're gonna go ahead and get started on the same kind of technique but I absolutely love how this looks you can see that glitter through it so sparkly so pretty and just hints of that gold but here's the tumbler I was talking about so I got started on this kind of did the same technique sprayed the blue I, I used brown and I used some black so that's where the colors that I used there okay so this was ready to come off and this is how it's looking so far i really really love it now i just need to find a quote to put on there but i absolutely love how this looks it's so pretty so rustic and i just love it now since i like the way that one turned out so much I'm gonna do the same thing with this. I'm gonna add uh, my sparkle dust to my epoxy. I'm gonna use dusk this time because it's, I don't know, it's like an olive green color and I just felt like it really went with the colors of that this tumbler, this particular tumbler has with the browns and kind of almost looks green in certain places as well. So I'm gonna add two little, not little, kind of big helpings of, of my dusk there. And we're just gonna do the same exact thing now, but this time around, I wanted to add some shapes to it. I wanted to add some fall leaves. So I'm actually going to stir this first and then add my shapes into it because if you add your shapes now, you risk uh, possibly like damaging your shapes because you know, they're kind of, they're, they're pretty big, all right? So I like to do it right before I'm about to apply it to the tumbler just so I don't damage the shapes at all, like bend them or anything. So I'm just gonna stir that up very lightly and then we're gonna start applying that to our tumbler. And just like any time you work with shapes, you just want to make sure you kind of smooth them around and make sure they're not all stuck on top of each other. So that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to get this fully loaded up with, again, I'm working with 20 milliliters of epoxy, same as my last tumbler. And I'm going to fully get this loaded and then put on my turner and then we'll start spray painting. And I'm gonna use the same exact colors as I did for my last tumbler. I'm gonna use the blue and I'm also gonna use the gold. So again, I'm just gonna spritz this all over. And I want these, these leaves to kind of be behind the paint and some not be behind the paint. So they're like, they're just kind of floating through, you know, cause we're going for a fall, fall feel here. I hope so. I hope it turns out like that, we'll see. <laughs> So again, just loading up the blue paint. I'm spritzing with rubbing alcohol here and there just to, you know, kind of break everything up and just take, taking my time and looking at it and seeing if I need to do any more. And then I decide I'm going to go ahead and move on to uh, the gold paint right after this. And again, just working with the gold paint, I'm going to do the same thing where I just spritz it all over, making sure that I kind of hit the bottom as well, making sure I get the top because, you know, there's a, there's a lot more tumbler here than our last one. So I got to make sure that it's kind of evenly distributed, 
making sure I don't put too much, but just enough. But also keeping in mind that it is going to get me a little bit muted after it kind of settles down into the epoxy. So just keep that in mind as well. So I just, what I like to do after I, I get it on there is I just let it kind of rotate for a couple minutes and I, I see if, you know, I need to add any more because like I said, it does get a little bit muted. So after it rotates a couple times, I'll come back through and add a hint more here and there of an, any specific color. And, and that's pretty much it. That's, that's pretty much all we're doing. Spray with your paints, spritz it with your rubbing alcohol until you get the desired look that you would like. And, and there you go. So here's after a couple minutes, again, I let it sit. I spritz it a little bit more with that rubbing alcohol and look at that, look at that distress look it gives it. It just really breaks everything apart and just gives it such a really cool effect. So after it has adhered, here is what it looks like so far. It looks like a night fall sky. That's what it reminds me of. I just love it so, so much. And I can't wait to put a decal in this and show you guys the finished product. All right, how cool is that? It really does remind me of a, a fall night sky. So, so cool. Now I did move on to my, I feel like I haven't said this in a while. I have moved on to my afternoon drink. You guys remember these tumblers like, get the beach lid, did that, look at that. But I actually purchased a bunch more of these because I have something in mind I'd like to do, which we'll, I think we're gonna do next weekend together. I have something else in mind, kind of like Halloween theme type thing, but yeah, I love these decals. No need for epoxy. It, it's been lasting. I've been, I use this cup quite often and wash it and I haven't had any issues, so. All right, but I have that. <laughs> Everything matches me today. What's up with that? <laughs> All right, let me show you those tumblers really quick. Okay, so here's the mug so far. Absolutely love the coloring on that. My lighting is just too bright. Maybe I should turn off one of my lights it's a little bit better. Now you can see the sparkle. It was just so shiny, like it didn't even want to show up. There's that little spot there. I love those colors, so pretty. This is how this one's turning out so far. Look at that. I think this one's my favorite. And this one was kind of more like I was really experimenting. Like I was really going to town with the stuff, with the spritzing and of the alcohol and everything. But I really, really love how that turned out. And you can really see that sparkle dust underneath. It really kind of gives it like a rainbow effect under it too. But do doesn't it look like a lot of little stars under there? And kind of like a night sky, a fall night sky? Kind of reminds me of that. All right. So that's... I'll get some decals on those. Again, congratulations to the winner for the tumbler and glitters and all that. Make sure you, you send me an email, okay? Send me your email, sandysorganizedchaos at gmail.com. I'll get that shipped out to you. But I think that's gonna do it for me today, guys. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, an amazing rest of your week, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Okay, Jack. Jack.